The Institute for Bird Populations is working on a new pilot study of Gunnison sage grouse with the Bureau of Land Management in Colorado. Gunnison sage grouse are a threatened species found only in western Colorado and eastern Utah. In the early spring, these grouse gather at open areas called leks, where the males perform an elaborate display and females pick their mates. We're helping BLM determine which leks used by the birds in the past are still in use and when the birds use them. In early March, before the grouse started displaying, we put out ARUs, or Autonomous Recording Units, around historic leks. These units are programmed to record sound for several hours each morning for the next few months. Now you might be wondering, why does that ARU look like a reindeer? IBP biologist and ARU expert Jerry Cole explains. The question is, why does that thing have so many spikes on it? Well, it's to keep predators from perching on this. So if you look out around us, there's not many perches in this area around the lake. The vegetation is relatively low. So this would be a good spot for a predator to just land on here and come over and grab a, grab a grouse that was lecking. Make it pretty easy. Mm -hmm. So we put these spikes on here so hopefully they can't perch on there and uh, grab one of the grouse. And so what is the thing sticking out of the bottom? Oh yeah, so this is an external microphone. When we did uh, our other project using these boxes and the audio moss, we uh, used the, the onboard microphone, which is a, called a MEMS microphone. It's like what you have on your cell phone. It's a little bit lower quality. So we chose to use these external microphones so that we get a little bit better sound quality for this project uh, in the hopes that maybe we would get a larger detection radius for after the grouse are done displaying on the lex, we will retrieve the ARUs and Jerry will analyze the recordings to see if we captured any grouse sounds. Here's what we're hoping to hear. If all goes according to plan, we will be able to tell the BLM which leks are being used and when, so that land managers can ensure that the leks are conserved and not disturbed when the grouse are displaying. This information will help conserve this declining species.